to enjoy those phones those are uh, platform down to down to use the mobile interface so sorry my phone is hanging because of a lot of work it has now this is Google form interface so you ask me how I get here so it's something so simple just type click on your menu bar just type let me come again when you click on your menu bar it's still loading i want it to finish loading oh there you can go to another page so someone that want to create a google form it can be used google form can be used for many things you use it to create a question to set a question for your students i use it a lot to set questions and answers you can use it for customer research if you have a customer and you have a database of a customer so you want to ask them about distraction in your products and services so you can use it as well or you are a student in the yes and you want to do a research that needs you to create a survey so you can also use google form to do it instead of you to be printing and printing and printing wasting your money so using google form will save you a lot of bucks so i'm starting afresh so that uh you won't feel as if i didn't walk you through the normal process so you gotta just come here and type at the search engine type dogs or no you can say forms you can see forms dot google dot com forms dot google dot com there it's auto complete good forms dot google dot com and it will take you directly now you are at this page based on what you are seeing here this is this is a mobile interface i want to go desktop wise because at times if you're using a small phone maybe because i'm using tablet that's why it's easier for me if you're using a small phone you need to change some settings of your <coughs> of your phone to desktop so and here you see this red red arrow red circle that embed white arrow pointing upward you gotta click it when you click it so it brings all these listed items new tab new incognito tab history download bookmark recent tabs share find page translate <coughs> add to home screen desktop site this you now click on the de this desktop site click on it click on it it changes the user interface you can see it's is now a bit smaller and i could see all it entails now these have come to the interface for you to know what i've done past you can see this is this this i i opened it last in uh, august 2021 that was the last time i opened this so it's what i created while i was in final year 
to to collect information about the Kenyan yes, Muslim. No, 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 no. This, yeah, uh, the uh, uh, Muslim couples. I use it to get the details. Those to nominate for the state ed schools. And also, you can see geography students, February 2021, while I was still serving, this is what I used to extract their details and get the information, their names, their parents, phone number, and the likes. And the same thing is for February 2022. Now, also, several insect latitude learning monuments and sites. So, this I use this one for research purpose based on monuments and sites. Uh, customer feedback, you can see. Word, environmental, environmental conservation club. My sign up page, yes, you can use Google form for sign up page as well if you know how to do it. So many things, green products are non biodegradable. This was 2018, my first research to research when I made as an undergraduate. Is what I use to extract information and uh, submit it in a uh, conference proceeding of netlink environmental conservation now based on what is there you can see recent form owned by me a to z in list so these are recent forms right and it shows one that are owned by me but you click on this arrow it's gonna bring something you can see owned by anyone not owned by me let's click on owned by anyone owned by anyone if possibly yeah you can see this it's I don't think it's showed by owned by anyone. It doesn't show me. Let's see, those are not owned by me. If it should drink. So contact information. It's not owned by me. It's not owned by me. So it's something someone who someone created this and include me as an administrator. So also if you see where it's called it, it shows a uh, blank. Blank. Which is plus, which means you want to create fresh one. Yeah, it's a sample template that you can follow if you want to create a customer feedback or a work request sheet, job application form. So when you click on this template, it shows a lot of templates you can see. So extract information, calendar, RSVP, invite people to party, sign up page, event registration, feedback, order form. For you to allow people to order for your products and services so they are so numerous yes quiz to exit ticket assessment worksheets cost evaluation so numerous too numerous to mention but a few but now today i'm gonna show you walk you through on how you yourself can actually create your own google form now let's go I clicked on the blank sheet. Ha, based on what is there, you can see the top right, which is tag untitled form. You can see my hand where I click untitled form. So you gotta give your form a name. Your form, you have to give it a name. What is my form name? So let's see. Uh, uh, so she, I'm gonna use one of my students, Menti uh, Project. It is to do this so now let's start social acceptability acceptability oh Marginata. In some selected hotels mm. accurate. On those states, now 
charge him by this now I've entered the form right so I'm done and now here you can see something like a file beside it when you click it it's what saved automatically that is saved you've saved it Mm -hmm. now it's pressing and if I should start it it will be part of my favorite Google form that whenever I log into for Google form uh, it will always show at the top as part of my favorite now it's not necessary to show this page there and be looking for it so since it has saved you can see it changing the down one the heading the heading of our google form one thing that you have to know is that when you are creating google form email address are being collected or will be collected automatically what do i say the email address of your respondent will be collected automatically in the sense that in the sense that you can use it in future to still retarget them and now at the description let me cancel this at the form description so you cannot just say you want to collect a uh, data information of somebody without you explaining what the data is for and that is where the description comes in at the form description so at the form description say so our form is social accessibility of Akitina Maginara in some selected hotels in Africa and state. Now, okay, now, as you being the one that also structure the questionnaire, you need to let your respondents know what this question is for. So, let's go. Let's say, uh, <coughs> this form. intended to collect information about the usage or oh, let's see about consumer behavior or acceptability mm. don't mind me farting mm, i took pain just tonight and so since then i've been farting all the all the time if you or acceptability Sorry. Also, my baby or acceptability. Of. Oh, I catch in a vaginal tap. Mm. 
so I'm selected. information will be treated with confidential. Okay, now this is just a brief uh, description of what this Google Form is all about. I know that I said earlier on that when you are to make a Google Form, it is automatically by default. If you collect the details or the email of the responder, so this form is collecting emails based on what is there now. This form is collecting email. You can see. And so you can change the settings, you can change, but I prefer leaving it there because at times in the future, I might need to select an individual to collect more information or a follow up email. So if you want to change it, that you don't want it to be their email address to be collected automatically, you just click on change settings. Hmm? So, so. Based on the settings, you can see uh, responses, how response are collected and protected. So, collect email address. You can see that it is automatically. If you now click on it, it, is, it will be automatically again. Oh my sweetie, not this time around. I'm so busy. Let me close it. When message again? Oh. Okay, okay. Um. Close, 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 close. Not this time around. Okay, now, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Also, allow response to edit. Allow response editing. So, what is if they've submitted the response, they can still edit it if you. Then also, you can set the limit to one response. That is, if you actually don't want to click it, response. So, if you don't want it to replicate responses, then you just limit it to one. You, if you click on limit to one response, that means one response per person. It's also in the presentation. So, now it will be showing how you progress. All this. Don't need it for now. Let me go to the customer again. Ah, oh. my God. So, question now. You can see question, response, and setting at the top here. So I'll click on question to go back to the question again. And let's start afresh. What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the matter? Where am I? Oh my God. Yeah, I'm back to the platform I had before. Now, it 
So question, we go back to questions now. So the question now, one thing you should know is that when you are drafting a question, there are some questions that are just open-ended in the sense that they are just yes or no. Hmm. Yes or no. And there are some questions that they are optional. That okay. For example, I would uh, select your age range. So there you put out your age range, infant, adolescent, youth, aged, over age. You group them. That's uh, optional questions, right? So and there are questions that you just pick. You select selected answers. Maybe okay from the list of questions below. Select those that are right. Now the factors of sixteen are you not list them. One, two, three, four, eight, twelve, sixteen. So yeah, the person we have to the person we have to choose those are the actual actual factor of sixteen. And so that one are selected option, optional answers, right? From the list of answers that are you've provided. So all those things I'm gonna walk you through it as well as well as well now i have zoomed out so you can see at the far right of this screen at the top you see the, the uh, icon of plus the one with a file and arrow inside the one with t capital a to t and small letter t the one with the image icon the one with the video icon the one with the equal to icon right or wrong Okay, so the one with the plus icon is what you use to add more questions to your question. Now, this is A. Now, here is what is shown because we are still at the uh, at the heading of our Google Sheet and that is where this icon uh, plays beside it. Now, I want to click on the second one which is on title question and option. Now, now I click on it. You can see the arrow has cheated from there downward again signifying that here is where i have now all this thing and I use it based on this line now a question to write is now let based on what is here now my first question is that i'm gonna meet this hotelier those who are running this business i want to ask them a question one of those questions i want to ask is that uh you selling swill meal are you selling is are you selling swill meal as it may be so sorry now are you selling are you are you selling swill meal are you Selling snail mm. based on this, this is if for you to know it is automatically yes or no question. Are you selling snail meal? Yes, no, and you can see suggestion the. The, the, the machine learning mode, the, 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 the algorithm there, has bring suggestions. I need to be writing option one, option two. It has bring it yes, no, maybe. Suggestion is that add all. Let me just add those three. Yes, no, maybe. So now, if I should click on add all, so yes, no, maybe. You can see. Now, when the yes is highlighted, hmm, you can see something like icon, like message like a like 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 picture icon you can see something after it you see tag, um, the council button the same thing now i don't need that maybe because it might affect my data analysis in feature so that maybe let me go there and click on council come so council council that maybe now 
those are the two options here you see this add option or add order i don't need any option i don't need order there's no no need for me to pull out uh, to click on it now i'm, I'm done are you sending snail me the other side of it you can see multiple choice being shown if i don't want to use multiple choice part of multiple cho you can see if i should click down on it it will show you different pattern in which you can answer question you can see a question that requires short answer how do you know what do you know about snail mail if for instance you are setting a question the person will just answer you want them to answer a short and if it's a paragraph maybe you want them to write like 500 words 1000 will use the paragraph icon now if they ask like the one we just choose now is a multiple choice yes or no choose from those two uh, uh, options now the next one is check boxes you want them to check okay click on this click on this maybe you have list of options you want them to check the one then drop down from that drop down something uh, will also come at the back of it if you want them to upload file that's the next one file upload linear scale this is uh, when you are dealing with link uh, link cards maybe how do you satisfy how satisfy are you with our content so from the list to the highest from one to five oh.